Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Deco. Uh, I'm starting something new with the channel. I'm going to start actually regularly uploading and doing things. Uh, what I want to focus on first here is 3D printing, man. I want to get a 3D printing because I wanted to print some cool stuff for cosplay and do just, you know, you take your idea and you bring it to light. I am a, uh, I've been learning Blender for years and now I finally have the chance to to bring that, bring bring these creations that I have to life. So I'm super stoked about that. Now, I'm not new to 3D printing. I've actually been doing 3D printing for a long time, but uh, with varying results, um, I started on a mono price maker two or something is what they were called. Uh, I still have it. It's in the garage. I'm going to throw that thing out. It's a piece of crap. But that was the $150 printer back in in 2016 when your your enders were were king dog of the printer world so i used that for a little bit uh, i did some prototyping for a factory with it not too much um then uh, a few years ago my buddy was doing those where you go to you pick up uh, boxes from amazon returns and you can Get them for a good deal, but it's a lot of stuff's all shaky and crazy. So he comes to me, he says, "Hey, I got this printer. I want to sell it to you for like three hundred bucks." And it was a two trees. Uh, I think it's called Sapphire Plus. I think they're called SP fives now. And he sold it for me for three hundred bucks. Opened it up. The thing was, whoever used it and then returned it destroyed this thing. They melted all the cables, all the way from the printer head down to the motherboard. Were melting together and I took that printer on he ended up giving me 150 bucks back because he didn't he didn't check the boxes he just bought the things from Amazon and he he sells all that crap so he ended up giving me 150 bucks back so I got it for 150 bucks and I kind of tinkered with it and then a couple months later he actually got an Ender Ender 3 Pro came in which is actually I still have it's back in the corner I'm gonna sell that thing Screw that, and we'll get on to that in a moment because I'm about to tell you about how crazy experiencing the A1 has been. It's just mind-blowing to me. But, uh, so I got this SP5. It was melted. It was destroyed. I was an electronics engineer in the Marine Corps, so I took it on, and I tried working on it, working some magic with it. It ends up that the motherboard was fried. That sucks. It's, uh, I kind of wish I had that build volume. But I also don't see a whole lot of videos or information on these machines. So it's probably one of those misc machines that getting any fixes for is a pain in the butt. Uh, I did talk to their support, and they, they're pretty cool. They, they, they gave me all the links to AliExpress so that I could you know, get replacements pretty, pretty easily. Um, I will give that them a plus. But I, I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know. I never got the thing to work, and I'm just going to get rid of it. Uh, my girlfriend, we just moved, and I told my girlfriend, I was like, hey, I've been reading a lot of things online. I've been really getting really excited. I want to start printing stuff. And I've been hearing everything about this A1. Everyone's talking about bamboo, bamboo, bamboo. And I did a lot of days and days, I don't know, probably a week, week and a half, two weeks research, watching everyone's review videos, just casing everything, how the prints, people printing in 0 .2, 0 .4, 0 .6, 0 .8, the quality differences... Uh, how does the application work and everything? So I did a lot of research on it before making this purchase. And again, I came from the Ender 3 Pro, which was a pretty nice little machine, but it was just, you, you got to calibrate everything. Like, you got all these little issues. And it's just a whole lot. And I, I just didn't want to do that regularly. Um, you know, if I'm printing out little hobby items or whatever. But I ended up getting that, that and the... Uh, Two Trees SP5 for 150 bucks, which is, you know, whatever. You know. They gave me a box of filament, too. Um, but that comes down to, I, I want to get, I want to really get into this, and I just, everybody was talking about, and that, well, that's finishing right now. And everyone has been talking about these A1s. So I went to Micro Center. Uh, I have a Micro Center. Went, picked it up just the other day. Unboxed it. Set it up yesterday afternoon, and I, like, Bamboo has done this thing where, for some reason, no the other bigger companies even struggle with it. Where, from start to finish, they've mapped out the entire setup process. They have videos of it. They've got 
little notebooks that come with everything. They got QR codes you can scan to get more information. Everything is so easy. It comes in three. You have this bed here, uh, which is its own piece. You have the metal sheet, its own piece. You have the uh, the print house frame. That's its own piece. But this is all together, and this is in a different thing. And of course, that's my crappy spool. But this is another piece. And you have like your little accessory kits and stuff that are all in the box. But mainly, it's just two pieces. It's this and this. And you literally like it's like you, there's a little panel behind the print bed, and you open that panel up, and you like take five screws out, put ten screws in flip it over put five screws in the bottom that's it cut some zip ties you're set up that's it it takes 20 minutes 30 minutes you set it up plug it in hit your calibration which takes i don't know 10 minutes to do but it just and it does that every t it calibrates every time it prints it does suck but it gets the prints perfect if they're so crisp and you know i print from the card i printed the benchy over here and i think it takes 20 minutes it's a speed benchy uh everybody's seen them and their little basic white filament that comes with it. I did notice there was some lines on here, and I was like, oh, man, print, bad, you know, bad feed or something. Um, there was a little bit of overhang issues towards the bag of pins. Yeah, I don't even know if I could pick it up, but uh, it, it came out really well other than those little issues, and I sh showed my girlfriend, and she's like, oh, cool, this little tugboat. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, I'm like, I'm a little upset because of those lines, and she's like looking at it, and she's like, is this supposed to be multicolored? Because that looks like where you'd paint it. And I was like, oh, shoot, those are across, down. Yeah, those Yeah, those are multicolored lines. What am I thinking? So it was just a misunderstanding with me. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've printed a bench. So uh, I printed that out. And then it's so cool. They have this application you download. And this is not sponsored by Bamboo. It's not sponsored by anybody. I'm a no-name no nobody. I just put random crap on the internet. And you, that's what it is. So you have an application on your phone. You download it. And you scan a QR code on this little screen, it'll pop up and it'll be like, do you want to bind your printer when you're setting up? And you bind the printer to your to your phone app and it, it links it to, you. be like, I have it set up on my computer to where I can just stream files directly in the printer. It's so cool. It's just, it's so easy where you don't have to do fidget with anything. It just does it for you. Um... And you just can't really say that about most printers. Um, no printer I've ever had could ever do any of that. So, I'll take this hat off. So it's just really cool, man. It's it's a cool little unique thing. They have their own app. They have the uh, the Maker World. Um, you can just download anything and just print it out. Full sets of Mandalorian armor, Halo armor, all that cosplay stuff that everybody loves printing out. It's just there. It's it's remarkable that. The, there's products out there that people can just download, print, boom, it is there in your house, and you've made it. But you also have the ability, if you want to learn how to use the CAD software and all that, you can make something. And uh, so the first thing I downloaded was, um, this is like a little um, life counter. Uh, I play a lot of Magic the Gathering stuff, and you're about to see more of it, more Magic the Gathering stuff. So, let's see. so we're sitting here... Uh, and it, it works. It, it's flawless. This is a flawless product. You, you'd go. You'd walk into a magic store and pay probably uh, probably eight to fifteen bucks for one of these. It took me twenty minutes to print it. Eight fifteen bucks. Um, I opted not to buy the AMS because at first I was thinking this is going to be things that I print and paint and do all that stuff I'm not really getting into the double color if I start really getting into sales which I do kind of want to get into sales you know if I'm making stuff I might as well throw it up there and see if people want to buy it from me um so I just went with the one color and I'm just going to print and paint so it you know it is what it is I'm going to only have one color but uh, I do have a housewarming because I did just move that's why I'm in this weird glass setup. and yeah it's not how it needs to be, but it's how it's going to be. And I'm just going to print a bunch of these out and just give them to people. We're doing a Magic the Gathering house for them. And that's what brought me on to actually the first product I'm going to put up. So I printed four of these. It took me about an hour. And this is a Magic the Gathering coaster. It's got all your little symbols and everything. And I printed it. Um, I'm using this old, I don't know, I've had this probably about four or five years this old blue hatchbox PLA. It's not PLA Plus. It's nothing fancy. It's just blue PLA. 
um, and print out really really good. I printed it at PLA Basic uh, setting instead of importing Hatchbox setting or like whatever, just PLA Basic, and it came out pretty good. So these are uh, the first product I'm going to be putting on my little Etsy shop, and uh, we're going to be painting, doing all that, and I'll do another another video, uh, like a short showing that. Um, but yeah, it's, it was just the process of, look, it took me about an hour to draw this thing up in a CAD. Well, it took most of the time just cutting the, the images out. Um, and then, you know, it took me three hours to print a set of four of these. I did a rookie mistake, and I didn't print a sample. I jumped right into printing four. It's something you learn early on, I guess. So I printed four. I was mega stoked. I was like, wow, these are really good quality, but there's like these edgings because I just didn't add enough vertices around uh, around the area of the circle. And that's fine, I, I upgraded it, but I also I was like, man, these are really thick for coasters. Like, these are durable. And I just didn't like that, that was too much. It took three hours to print four. I was like, well, that's kind of a long time. So then I switched to uh, these. I printed out five so far. I printed out a, a sample one first this time. I learned from my mistake. So it's the same design, same exact setup, only it's a, it's a two mil instead of a four mil. A four mil is quite a bit. I think maybe two mil is maybe too much as well. Um, has a little bit of flex to it, but not a whole lot. So these are the, gonna be the first product. I'm probably gonna sell it as, um, yeah, I'll paint them, paint them and sell them, offer them in different colors. Uh, probably. 10 bucks for four or something. I think that's a pretty fair price when you look at other coasters online. So, um, but there was other stuff like I printed out uh, this poop bucket. Poop bucket. And I just threw all my other little, this was the starter filament. And this was something else I tried to print on the Ender 3 the other day and it just, of course it didn't print right. And this was something I tried to print on this and it didn't print right. You know, so it does happen, but... Um, this was the only fail, and it, was, it failed because I designed it wrong. I, I, I know. But you get a lot of this print poop, and I'm excited to, to melt this down into dice or you know, more coasters or whatever. Whatever I'm gonna cut up, melt them down to. But it, it's just it's so easy. It's I, it's kind of mind blowing to me um, that I can just I, you don't even need to be here for this. Like as long as the bed's clean, you, you can print from anywhere with the app or your computer or whatever. So it's just really cool. Uh, it's a start to the channel. I'm going to be putting a lot more stuff up about printing, uh, designing, sales, and stuff like that as I start uh, start this venue. And I'm really excited for people to come along. And if it's something that you want to observe and check out as well, well, then you know, we do the like follow business. But, uh, you know, we're still early on, so it is what it is. And I'll check you out in the next one. You guys take care. Bye.